Hey you kids, and welcome to my last video of 2023. Yep, as you can see, it's the very last day of 2023. So, thank you all for an amazing year. It's certainly been a trip. Like, a thousand subscribers. Like, a thousand subscribers. We hit a thousand subscribers in 2023. That's crazy. And a bunch of other crazy shit happened to me this year. Some some good, some bad. And yeah. So let's hope we keep on growing for 2024. Woot woot. Anyways. So, to end 2023 with a bang, I just thought... Let's install Red Star OS. Now, now you hardcore that one is fan fans may be thinking, but that one is fan. Didn't you already do this back in June? <laughs> I already did, yes. But I failed at doing that. Because I couldn't really read Korean, and I didn't really know how to install Linux stuff, and I believe I was using VMware back then, but now that I switched to VirtualBox, and I know a little more about Linux, I think I can install it now. So, here we go. Red Star OS, attempt 2. So, let's go to new. So, we're going to name it Red Star OS. As you see, it thinks it's Red Hat. Is it like this? Uh, we'll, we'll do that. So, I think it's- I think Red Star OS is based on Fedora, so... 32-bit, 64-bit, we'll say it's 64-bit. 2048 megabytes, that looks good. Now, please wait- Now, please hold on while I add my own custom flair to this virtual machine. And there we go. So now we're gonna go to settings, storage, click this empty disk icon, which shoes redstar.iso, because that's what I got. Okay, and start. Now, this is an English translated version of Red Star OS. Not sure if it's official. I don't think it's official, but. Hmm, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see how awful this is, you know? <laughs> this could be a trip, man. Uh, I don't see anything. Is this what happened in my last attempt? Not sure. But it's taking some time. Oh, oh, I, I saw it. I saw it change the resolution. It's a nice big display. And I see a blue screen. Look at it. It looks very Mac like, you know, Mac OS. It looks like reminiscent of like Mac OS 10.5 Leopard or something. Next. So I, I thought it. Oh, the partition table on the disk was running readable. Oh. Don't mind all those guys, those are just my guinea pigs. Hi. Anyways, the partition table on devices was unreadable. Yes. We'll choose that next. Username. We'll choose the doggo, because he's a good boy. Short name. Password, we have to do this, uh, no we don't. Manually, with two N's, uh, we'll do D, hostname, sure, DPR Korea, we'll do there, next, today's date, and that's not the time, 9.29, Actually, no, like, I, this is a 12, 
a 24 hour clock. So it would be 21. Next. And we're gonna, we're gonna install on partition none. Customize. Sure, why not? <laughs> busy looking at my iPhone 14. Hashtag flex. Now we're gonna reboot into the second phase of setup. Ooh. Gonna boot into that partition. Whatever the hell that's at. Oh my god, they even copied the boot screen from Mac OS. It really feels like I'm using Mac OS. Except I'm not. Oh, how I wish I could get Mac OS working on here, though. But, as you can see, here we are. It's a very Mac-like interface. You got the reflections on the dock. Everything. So... I can't read anything here. I'm presuming that says log out of that one is TOWF, which is the user account. Uh... Here, got the volume, 936, settings, um, uh, language, no, nothing, hmm, which one is language, that one with the globe, nope, that's the, that's the... this one, right? Nope, that's the time. This is actually the time. This one? I'm just clicking on anything with a globe. Hoping a little language menu will come up. Can you not change the language on this thing? I have no idea what I'm doing here. Um, Hi. close out of that. Hmm, can't read any of this. I was something that flag icon was it? How can I change the language? It isn't really translated, is it? It's more just the setup's translated, you know? By the way, I can even drag the cursor outside the window. Look at this. That looks cursed. And now it's not. What's this? Is this a calendar? What's this? Is this a to do list? Help. I'm sure that's help. Don't know what that is. Hmm. Um. Sure. Let's see what stuff we can. Let's see what stuff we can access in North Korea. Um. 
Google.com. Is Kim Jong Un gonna get me or something? <laughs> Try and connect. Um, let's try and connect to Google, but I don't think it's gonna succeed. In that. I'm pretty sure this is about that. This Mac. Red Star Wars version 3.0. How do you change the language on this thing? I'm just gonna click on every setting, hoping it will work. Um. No, don't know what this is. Oh, wait. E-N? Yeah, I want everything English. Um, yeah, I want everything English. I want... Yeah. That's window management. Don't know what that is. Because I can't read Japanese. Oh, so they say Japanese, I'm a Korean. You know, I could have just let that in for comedic effect, but eh. Well, I like this. It reminds me of old Mac OS. Like, this reminds me of Mountain Lion. Now, is, is it gonna connect to the. But yeah, this is a pretty weird OS. <laughs> um. CHM. Is that like for help? It is. Um, calculator. We can do a calculator. Hmm. This looks pretty cool. So we can do basic math. Look at that. Nineteen ninety eight plus two Y two K. It has a video player. I wonder if we can open any video stuff on it. Do I have any sample videos or something? Oh, nope. We don't have any sample videos on here. But, we're going to try out a test video. Let me see if I can do that. So we're going to try out a test video, okay? Please wait while I make the ISO. Alright, I got my test video ISO, so let's, uh, oh, it's loading. <sighs> no, don't, don't respond on me. Uh, okay, vid.iso. Okay, you can see the icon. Let's move it to the desktop. Boom. Let's see if we can actually play it. It has nice little snows. It just ejected it automatically. You can you can only move it to a grid. Basically representing the the limitless the limits of North Korea. Alright, let's see if it actually plays. Hmm desktop. Here it is. Here Oh oh Turn it down. Oh my god. That frame rate though. <laughs> oh my god. 
<laughs> We're watching something Japanese on something Korean. This feels weird. <laughs> like, wait, wait, it's Japanese on Korean. This feels really weird. I said it before, but <laughs> it's just hilarious. Oh my god. That's great. That's great. I'm gonna keep that on the desktop. Alright. Now it's time to shut it down. I think this being shut down. Oh wait, nope, that's restart. This is shut down. Alright, and I'll see ya. Alright. Goodbye, guys, and I'll see you with a video in 2024. So, we wave goodbye to 2023 and say hello to 2024. And also, be on the lookout on a vi for a video on the second channel called Goodbye 2023, Hello 2024, where I react to the 24 2024 hitting live. Well, not live, but like, you know what I mean, like on camera. It's not gonna be a live stream. Anyways, I'll see you in 2024. Bye!